My name is Richard Smith. I'm a sailboat operator on Puget Sound and adjacent waters, uh, coastwise uh, state of Washington. Uh, and partic participate in sailboat races and in uh, predicted log races on power boats and then also in just uh, weekend cruising and, and vacation time during the summertime. Probably the thing that affects us more than anything else in this area is, is currents and uh, wave patterns uh, uh, generated by weather associated with currents. Uh, on our boat, we can handle 25 to 35 knots as long as the sea conditions don't get too bad. Uh, but once sea conditions get over about four feet, uh, it starts to become uncomfortable and, and uh, uh, starts to become more than we were, really want to handle. Uh, two years ago, we were coming back in off the straits and we were predicted to have uh, 20 to 25 knots of wind which will generally produce about four to five foot sea condition. Uh, instead, we received uh, 35 to 40 knots, and we had uh, uh, eight, to, eight to 10 foot combined seas. That's swell and wave height. In a small boat, 30 foot boat that we operate, that's, especially for 10 to 16 hours, uh, that's quite a bit more than we're generally willing to subject ourselves to. The, the bad situation on, on coming down the straits is unless you cross the straits and get to the American side, there's no ports of refuge for 100 miles. Uh, so you don't really have an alternate port uh, for that distance. Generally, if we have six hours uh, lead time in uh, forecast, we're able to make decisions to uh, affect what we're doing to avoid uh, the worst part of the weather. Uh, if it's less than that, we can generally turn around and go back to where we came from or, or hit a fairly close alternate port. But since our passages will be across the Straits or uh, 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 across Puget Sound or different places, the uh, time involved uh, may be two to three, four hours. It, that's, that's not really a problem. It's, we can put up with that uncomfort. But if it becomes uh, six to ten hours of rough weather, it starts to become a little, a little bit much for small boats.